Hey, it's Randy. Welcome back to the First Build Shop. Uh, welcome back to our continuation of our weld series. First of all, we're going to be talking about TIG today. Last video, we used MIG on everything we did. MIG is where the wire travels out the end of the gun. We pull the trigger, the wire travels out, we make our weld joint with it. So it's a consumable. TIG is stationary. It has a tungsten electrode in the end. We're going to hit a foot pedal and we're going to strike an arc. And then we're going to fill our weld joint up with the wire by hand. I'm going to introduce Jake. Jake, say hi. Jake's going to walk you through today the advantages of TIG, and he's actually going to demonstrate running some of these beads, and you're going to see how that's done. So let's get into it. We'll let Jake get going. So Jake, take it away. So today we're going to be welding some 60,000 stainless. Got my welder set at 70 amps. First thing I want to check to make sure my tungsten is super sharp. That's uh, the way you get the best weld. And then I'm also going to use my foot pedal. My welder set at 70 amps, but as I push the foot pedal down or raise it up, I'm going to get a fluctuation on the 70 amps. All the way down is going to be the full 70 amps. And if I see it getting too hot, I'm going to feather that pedal just like you feather a car pedal uh, if you need to go faster or slower. Uh, the cool thing about this Fronius welder is we got a Bluetooth pedal, so you're not connected to the actual welder with this pedal. I'm gonna go over the PPE I'm wearing. I got my welding jacket. I got my TIG gloves. These are a little different. They're thinner and they give you a lot more dexterity when you're using TIG welding. I've also got my helmet. I've got my darkness set to 12. The more amps you use, the darker you need to go, obviously. The first thing I'm gonna do is put a tack on each side and then we're gonna run the bead across the front. So when you're TIG welding, you want to after the weld is done, you need to hold your torch over the weld because gas keeps coming out. Do you hear that gas? Yeah. So that's the post flow. So looking at this bead, uh, it looks pretty consistent. It looks pretty evenly distributed between the top plate and the bottom plate. And the good thing you see here is the color of the weld is uh, like a golden hay or even silver. That's what you're aiming for. You see it tapers off into a little bit of color there at the end. Uh, a lot of people think color is good, but you're really aiming for this golden uh, or hay color. Now, if you look at this one, this has got a lot of color in it. And that means it's got a lot of heat. It's not necessarily a bad weld, but for certain industries like pharmaceutical, uh, they require that golden hay color. So this welder has a high frequency start. Basically what happens is when you lightly press your foot on the pedal, what almost looks like lightning comes from the tip of the tungsten down to your base material. And as you press harder, you get more amperage and that's what actually creates the weld puddle. So I'm gonna lightly push down on the pedal to create the high frequency arc. And then when you see that, you keep increasing your pedal until you see the puddle form, and then you can start moving the puddle around wherever you want it to go. So that was a demonstration of a high frequency start and also TIG welding 060 stainless and a T-joint. Tune in for our next TIG welding video, and thanks for watching.